This is the story of one of the world's finest botanic gardens. Today, in the heart of Singapore, people enjoy its beauty a century and a half after its ambitious beginnings. The story of the gardens is closely intertwined with the history of the island itself. In 1819, Sir Stamford Raffles arrives to discover a sea of green. A tropical paradise, following nature's own design. Its surface conceals wildlife. Trees, fruits, and flowers. The envy of the world's greatest collections. As a keen naturalist, the founding father of Singapore recognizes the island's potential as a source of riches. Just three years, he establishes the first botanic gardens at Fort Canning. Within 40 years of Raffles Landing, the present botanic gardens springs up on this site. Inside its walls, scientific methods of harvesting rubber and the introduction of new species boost Singapore's fortunes. hundred years of growth follow. Singapore's wealth blossoms. The island's canopy transforms. brings independence. The then Prime Minister, Lee Kuan Yew, takes the reins. Like Raffles, he has a vision. A well-ordered and prosperous city where people and parks interact in harmony. The presence of the botanic gardens inspires communities to bloom amidst concrete. Today, the island's sky gardens reach for the clouds, with trees of the botanic gardens pointing the way. Fifty years after the creation of Singapore's botanic gardens, the world is starting to truly appreciate the value of green spaces. Minister Mentor Lee Kuan Yew's Garden City is still thriving, evolving into a city in a garden, a model for the new millennium. 